Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Sid, a.k.a. Vicious274, coming at you with another review. And this time, again, it's from my good buddies at Four Corner Fingerboards. That's just their business card there. I'm going to be reviewing their new HC Mold Complete deck today. But I just want to show you some of the, uh, the extras that they sent me. Now, this one, at first, just kind of looks like a laminated giant business card. But it's actually a calendar that they sent me, which I thought was really cool. I've never seen that before. They've also got some new stickers. This is just one of them right there. It's got the 4CF in the background, and then the logo in the middle, very cool. Now this one, when I saw it, I thought it was a sticker sheet, but it's not. It's actually just one giant sticker with a whole bunch of different logos and so on, but I guess you could cut them out if you wanted to use them as smaller stickers, or you could just use it as one big square sticker. And then they've improved their classic logo. It's a lot more cleaner. It's a great looking sticker as well. Um, a few other things that I wanted to talk to you about in, and show you about just some of their smaller products that they offer. They have now their own personalized tools. It just says 4CFB on it and it's the dual sided tool. I thought that was really cool of them to, uh, to come out with. They have also have pivot cups, which are extremely cheap and you get a great um, stack of pivot cups in the pack. And they have different colored tuning. This is the blue and it has a bigger um, bushing for the bottom and then a smaller bushing for the top. And the, uh, it also comes with all four washers that you would need. And then also they have their uh, four corner new and improved grip tape in uncut or pre-cut. And the pre-cut is made specifically to fit their decks. So they are, um, well actually like I said, they're pre-cut to fit their decks. Now with the, with the uncut sheet, I applied an uncut sheet onto the, uh, the HC mold just to see how it would um, how easily it would be to apply on and there was no trouble whatsoever. I took my file at a 45 degree angle, went around the deck once and the tape just peeled off no problems. Um, but usually with most foam tapes you, there's a little bit of um, little bumps that are left over so I just went around again, fixed it off and it was no problem. And the, tap, the tape again is a smooth style tape, there are no pores and it is definitely a thin tape as you can see it's like a millimeter thin and it is just an amazing tape I love it very much oh wrong side <laughs> so that's the um, the uncut sheet there and then here is the pre-cut and again they are cut to fit their decks perfectly but again just because it's it's designed to fit this deck Perfectly, you can also use it on other decks. If you have a smaller deck, all you would have to do is just shave off the excess, and then um, it would be like just having a, a regular sheet for your for your board. Now, this obviously is the new HC mold, which I believe stands for Hardcore, and uh, the reason why it is Hardcore is because it is a high kick, medium concave deck, and this is what the kicks look like. It is extremely high, and um, the nose is slightly longer than the tail, which uh, makes it easier to catch your kick flips and gives you a little more pop when doing your switch flips, which I really like. And then I've also got on the complete. Now, this was a yellow bottom ply. It went yellow, and then there's a blue middle ply, and then yellow on the bottom. So I got blue trucks and yellow wheels, and then the yellow bushings to match. And then there's, I also put on some of their yellow pivot cups. So this, when I say is a complete four corner HC fingerboard, it actually is a complete four corner fingerboard. Everything that you see on this deck came from four corner fingerboards. And the best part about that is the price. This complete with bearing wheels, which, by the way, roll amazing. They are super smooth, and they um, they roll for a very long time. The complete is, I believe, twenty four seventy four 
free worldwide shipping. You can't go wrong. And the performance is amazing. I mean, look at the bushings. They're, they've got a great flex in them. And then with the pivot cups, it kind of just brings it back into neutral position. And they don't, they're, the bushings are more of a, a softer material, but they're not too soft. They're actually kind of like a, like a medium. But again, it all depends on how much you tighten your kingpin. And um, they don't really bulge out that much. I'm riding my trucks a lot, um, a lot looser these days. And uh, even there, you can see they they kind of fit perfectly into the truck with the washers. There was no bulging at all. I tried tightening them just a little bit to see if there would be any bulge, but it didn't. Um, it didn't really bulge out that much. And this yellow to blue combination is just a sick looking deck. It is fantastic. And look at that shine. The lacquer is amazing. And this is a 29 millimeter wide deck. And I believe it's 99 millimeters long. Now, as most of you know, I'm not really that big of a fan of decks with high kicks. But I got to tell you, the performance of this board was, um, it, 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 it uh, was, I was really impressed with it. I mean, it did take me a little bit to get used to. But that's only because I'm more of a, a medium kicks, medium concave type of um, fingerboarder. But once I got the hang of this deck, it, um, it really, really impressed me. I was highly impressed, and especially for the price. If you're a beginner that wants to get into uh, wooden fingerboards and bearing wheels and um, wide trucks. Again, I forgot to mention these are wide trucks. Definitely go check out Four Corner Fingerboards. They have a wide variety of color combinations that you can customize your own personal fingerboard. I chose the yellow and blue because I really thought it looked very cool. But you can get blacks, reds, blues, greens. There's a whole different variety of colors that he has. And um, I was very, very impressed with the performance of this deck. Um, I didn't show you guys the roundings. They are rounded perfectly. And the sanding is fantastic along the sides as well. Very even. Now the HC, they do have another mold, which was their first mold. Um, I don't know if it had a specific name, but it was more on the um, mellow, to, mellow concave to medium kicks which was also a great performing board. And now they have their HC, the hardcore mold. And again, it did not take me long to get used to it at all. It is a fantastic complete, and I highly recommend it to anybody who is looking into getting into wooden fingerboards and bearing wheels, or if your budget isn't um, at, the, at the level where you can buy more expensive equipment, definitely go check out fourcornerfingerboards.com. I'll have the link to their web store down here so you guys can go check them out. I'll also have the link to the web store so you guys can subscribe for any product updates. All right? So, again, the links will be down here. Go check them out and keep fingerboarding. Two fingers. Peace.